first official press conference here, if I'm not mistaken, in our new uh, press conference layout. So I hope it's working well for everybody. Any comments that you guys, especially guys in the back row, have afterwards? So if we need to make any adjustments as we lead into the month of May, please let us know. But we're excited about the ability to service media up here. We only have one elevator in this building. Oftentimes when we're trying to get people up and down, it gets really crowded. So hopefully this will work out well uh, for all of us. I love the backdrop, which is uh, actually a lot of fun as well. So we're here today to talk about uh, one of the most important days uh, throughout this, the entire year, and that's the day that we get to give our champion from the year before uh, his ring, or her ring, right now it's always been a heat, but give him his ring uh, as champion of the Indianapolis 500. Uh, the man to my left, Ken Keltner, represents Herb Jones, and we've had a relationship with him for a long time. More importantly for me, I've had a relationship with Ken as far back as I can remember, because my dad, who is a good friend of Ken's, are the two that introduced me to this sport that I love so much today. Uh, and I remember as a kid just listening to my dad and Ken just talk about the roadsters and the history and growing up uh, around the racetrack, uh, going to high school close to from the racetrack, going to college together. Uh, so it's a pretty neat time when Ken and I get to be on stage together to talk about uh, how important the Indianapolis 500 and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is. But you've had a love affair with this place forever, and you've gotten an opportunity to meet a lot of great guys like Alexander Rossi. Why don't you talk a little bit about what it means for Herb Jones, but really what it means for you to be able to present this ring uh, to folks like Alexander Rossi. Thanks, Doug. It, it is, it's been a great love affair for Herb Jones Company and my wife Elaine and I for the track and it goes back family. But the track, Indianapolis 500 Motor Speedway has always been about the family. And uh, the family of Alexander Rossi joining these 99 winners on the top of this jewelry case that he's going to get. On one side, the rare end car and on the back, First one done is a picture of your car, the 98, winning the Indianapolis 500 mile, 100th running the Indianapolis, Indianapolis 500 Motor Speedway. The ring is significant because this is the first year that we changed the design just for the 100th running. Approved by Doug Balls and his staff, that ring represents the 100th running of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and it's the only time this ring will ever be presented to a winner. And you've got that ring. And Alexander, with nothing more to be said and done, may I present this ring to you on behalf of Herb Jones Company? <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. And all of the uh, varsity brands that we represent. <laughs> You're worth every every diamond and all the 14 here at Gold Linen because you were a diamond in the rough last year, coming from nowhere as a rookie, going on fumes, and you've made an inspiration and impact on Indianapolis Motor Speedway for <coughs> you forever. For every kid that saw for the first time, like when Doug saw the 77 race for the first time, everybody remembers that first one. So you're a great champ, and I thank you on behalf of all of Herb Jones Company. Thank you, Alexander. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Ken. Um, let's just give a round of applause to Ken and Elaine. The family's given an awful lot to the officers. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being part of this. Very, very cool. Alexander, you've had to wait a year. Um, well, it probably wouldn't have meant as much to you on the day of the race. How does it feel almost 365 days later to get the ring? And what's that ring represent to you today that it might not have represented uh, in May of last year? Well, I didn't know at all because, I mean, is. All of you are very aware. I, I didn't know what it would mean or represent until until this moment. I think, and uh, first of all, I didn't realize it was as dramatic as it is, which is which is very special and very very cool um, to be able to be a part of and to have it be kind of one of a kind uh, is also very very special. So, a huge thank you to Herb Jones and, and IMS for for this tradition and something that that I'll be a part of. Um, yeah, I mean it's because I, I I got the, the I guess the the other team ring. And that's very cool and, and something that you, you kind of appreciate. Um, but I didn't realize the magnitude of this until the second. So it's, it's very, very special. I'm happy to, to be able to share it with Brian and, and um, also on a day that's, that's very big for, for the entire team as well. So speaking of Brian, Brian Hardy, you're here. Brian, um, you had a chance to do this a couple of times. How does it feel this time around versus the first time? Uh, well, first of all, Michael was meant to be here, but uh, uh, they're chasing uh, some rain out here, so they're trying to keep keep Fernando going, so he's down there. Uh, but, you know, this is just an amazing thing, and, and I want to thank Ken and everybody for being a part of this. This is, 
this is really special uh, for me to walk, you know see him uh, present with his ring. Of course, the last time didn't have the opportunity to to, to watch Dan receive the ring. Uh, so so to be here and have him you know get that first reaction is is so cool. I I, I told you you know the the coolest thing about winning the Indy 500 is it keeps like reminding you and these things keep happening and uh, so you know looking forward to coming back and watching Alexander as, as the reigning champion uh, I know he's gonna have a great great month of May and and the whole team we're looking forward to it I love being back here and uh, just can't thank Indianapolis Motor Speedway and uh, everybody here that uh, to support the event and uh, keep making it what it is thank you I think with that uh, Susie would take some questions we would do that anybody have any questions Alexander, the, the box and the presentation and everything of that ring is so nice. Are you almost tempted to just really not take it out of the box and just yes. display it like that? Especially with how sore my arm is already. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, again, that was something else I didn't realize. Um, and to have, you know, the other winners and then the cars on there is, uh, is, is very, very cool. And I think that, um, you know, just again, shows the significance of the 100. You know, as it's big of a deal as this race is in general for the 120 there is is a monumentous event and something that you know we're all still relishing but also still trying to to improve upon for this year so uh, yeah I, it won't come out of the box very often it'll definitely be, be a showcase thing and something that i'll uh, take a great deal care of alexander you already kind of touched upon this but how different is your perception of this place and this race as it was last night it's 180, 360, what, what's more? 180, I guess is opposite, right? Um, of, of what it was. I mean, coming here, there was there was no known um, kind of understanding of, of really anything. And I was just coming here to try and drive a race car as fast as I possibly could. And uh, now I'm coming back doing the same thing, but having a, a huge understanding and, and respect for, for what this place means and, and all the little things that go into it and all the people that have been here and are a part of the fabric of this race. Um, that is all things that I've gained in this past 12 months and I'm looking forward now to coming back and just enjoying the experience a lot more, not having as many questions and, and just being able to understand what each thing means a little bit more. Still, it's only my second year, but there, there's not as much. Um, kind of guesswork, I guess. And with that, I mean, I think that um, you know the the two weeks will be a little bit less stressful for for me and the people around me as they're not trying to explain every single thing that's going on. So I'm very much looking forward to being back here um, in a couple weeks. Alexander, I want to tell you one thing. When you walk around town with that ring, uh, you'll run into a guy named Peyton Manning. He has one of our rings on too. So forevermore, you'll be indebted and embedded in, in, in our minds and our, our love for you, just like we have for Peyton Manning. So you're an icon to racing, but the greatest spectacle in the world is in Annapolis 500. When you get to be my age, you'll look back and, and remember all the great turns you had here. A lot of us couldn't do those turns. Doug gets right at every morning. <laughs> but uh, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, they have nothing on you, man. Nothing at all. Height. <laughs> all right, well, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Congratulations. I really appreciate it. Good luck this, the rest of this year. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Elaine. Thank you, Brian. Congratulations. I want to get a picture.